What's up everybody, welcome back to another Molt Man episode. We're out at the ranch, got my buddy Cooper with me, and uh, we just went and sighted in, well I guess it's pretty sighted in, but uh, sighted in his gun, and we're gonna go after a ram. So we have a couple rams out here that we are wanting to get out of here. Um, they just kind of tear up everything. And uh, we got one big one. A, a few of them are broken from fighting. They're constantly fighting, and we gotta get them out of here, so. We got one that got two full big curls. Uh, he's an awesome ram. We're gonna see if we can go get on them, do a little spot and stock hunting, and uh, then we're gonna go do some fishing. So let's take off walking and see if we can find them. It finally got hot here in Texas. I'm sweating in my mud boots. Got him. That one dropped him. Here we go, dude. Heck yeah. He smoked him on that first shot, too. I don't know how he didn't go down. He's a furry sucker, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's bigger than I thought he was, too. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. He's a lot bigger than I than I thought he was. He's got cool colors, too. That white. Yeah. Look at him from fighting. Oh, he got those All bears. busted up. Bleeding right there. All that fur stops that bullet pretty good. Yeah. That's like a shooting into a mattress. That's nuts. Look at that. Man, you know he was hot today. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Thank you. Well, he'll look good on the wall. I don't know if your dad told you not or yet, but uh, we're going to get him mounted for you. So. Thank you. Throw them on your wall next to your big old nine point. It's a big old animal. Yeah, it is. Heavy. Time to clean. Alright guys, we just got him back. We're gonna clean him up and uh our good friend Cruz, he's coming again. He's gonna Cooper just got his deer back. Got a ton of sausage and stuff like that, so uh we're gonna give all the meat to Cruz and he's gonna take it. They make tamales out of these things and they are delicious. So we're gonna get them cleaned up. It's super hot here in Texas, so we're gonna do this pretty quick so that meat stays good. Well, guys, we got it all done. We got them caked out. We got the meat hanging. Cruz gonna come get that meat. I'm gonna take that uh, the ram to the taxidermist and we're gonna go do a little fishing. I'm gonna get out of these hot mud boots and we're gonna go see if we can catch some bass. Do a little turtle planking. This pond doesn't have enough water. There. I don't think there's any bass left in here. Oh, 
Yeah, I think you got him. If you didn't, you scared him to death. Fishing time. I need rain in a bad way. Yeah. Really? Tomorrow? Yeah. Where in at home? Yeah, I don't know. I just heard there was some Well every time it rains somewhere else it never rains here, so I always do good on this bank. This pond is about twelve foot low. We need some rain really, really bad here in Texas. But there's still a lot of bass in here. Most of them are skinny. We probably need to come in here and cull a bunch out. Hooked up. Yeah. Hey, he's actually healthy looking. Yeah. I thought he'd be a lot skinnier than that. Nice. Dad. Catch him again. Oh, dad's on. We got a double. Get him. About the same size, too. Yep. He's fat, too. It doesn't, it, they don't look too bad. No, yeah. that doesn't look. I caught one the other day. I was like, oh no, we're in trouble. But I throw him back. Him back. Yeah. That's going to be a fish right there. Oh, he got him! That was the big one that just hit mine. Oh, that is a good one. Oh, you gotta get a picture with this one. Two for two. Two cast, two fish. See, he's a little skinny. Yeah. Still, that's a better fish. Go, heck yeah, he's fat. Yeah, he's not. You're not that skinny. Catch him again. There's bigger ones than that. We just gotta catch them. Oh yeah, that's a fish all day. Gotta be getting in that moss. Yeah. Well, guys, I didn't film it, but we just got done fishing. Now we're shed hunting, and I didn't even film picking it up, but we got us a big one. So we're trying to match. There it oh, is. Okay. that's crazy. Let's see if it's the match. Oh, that's a that's a stud. That's the match. Look at that. That is a stud. That's crazy. That's cool. So. We're gonna keep shed hunting. Cause there's still obviously a bunch that we haven't picked up yet. That's awesome. Hey guys, I'm back from the ranch. Had an awesome time out there. Just came home to my new Botex. So that will be a video very soon. I'm gonna do an unboxing video of those guys. And we are going to set them up, get them ready for the season. Turkey season starts Saturday. So plan on doing a lot of archery turkey hunting this year. And I'm about to start on, it's really nasty right now, but a giant pig that my dad's buddy shot out at the ranch. And I am about to do a Euro mount for him. So I got the water filling up. Before I start the European portion of this video, uh, unfortunately we didn't have enough time to cook the ram and all that stuff at the ranch. But I wanted to let you guys know the reason why Cooper was out there at the ranch with me hunting, um, brother is actually in the hospital um, with some medical conditions and this was just something very 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 tiny that could help take um, his brother being in the hospital off of off of Cooper's mind so um, y'all can read a little bit more about it I'm gonna leave this I'm gonna leave some information in the description box uh, there is a GoFundMe and I know their family would appreciate absolutely anything you guys can give whether it's 50 cents or fifty dollars i know it would absolutely mean the world to them and uh if you can't give anything that is 100 percent fine if you could at least keep them in your prayers uh, that would mean the world to them as well so um 
had a blast out at the ranch with Cooper and uh, we'll get his brother out there at the ranch when he gets all better and he'll come out and come hunting with us too. So hope you guys enjoyed that little hunt. I had a blast and uh, I think Cooper had a good time too. So I'll show them what the Mullet Man family can do uh, and let's support them in every way we can and prayer is the biggest way. So uh, if y'all could all keep them in your prayers, that would be awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do a little Euro mount. I've been meaning to do this for weeks now. Um, I got home one day and just stuck it in a bucket of water. Uh, this one way you can do it to kind of buy you some time if you don't, uh, if it's already skinned out and you don't have time to do the Euro mount right then and there. Uh, you can just put in some water and let it sit in there. But I'm not gonna show this part because it's pretty much solid red, red water and it stinks super, super bad. But it really eats away at a lot of that meat. And you'll see uh, on pigs, you really, really have to boil them good uh, to get all the nasty um, oils that are in their skull. I'm gonna get this fired up because we need to get this water heating ASAP. We need it to a rolling boil. So I am gonna set the skull in there even when it's not boiling just to, so it's not out stinking and stuff gets all over it. By the way, this is a new Origin hoodie. My first light, absolutely love it. I can't wait to use it for turkey season. Uh, follow me on Instagram and I'm gonna do a little more on why I like this, but it's brand new. They just came out with it. I'm dropping this nasty sucker in. Look how big those colors are. The only thing I hate about soaking stuff in water is a lot of times it will eat away all that stuff and your teeth end up falling out. But yeah, they definitely shot this sucker in the head. So we'll see how this turns out. But I'm gonna let this get in there. Sideways. Good. So you want that water to cover it. There's a little bit that's not covering, but when it boils over, it'll, it'll get it, so. Well, that's being loud and doing its thing. I want to show you the progress on our garden. There's the chickens. They're all hanging out. Y'all are really dirty. I'm sorry about that. The ranch is a dusty one. So I got some cattle panels for our tomatoes. So I think she has this side right here is going to be cucumbers. This is going to be tomatoes. This is going to be potatoes. This is going to be onions. And then we got her herbs and stuff in here. I don't know what she's got all going in here. And then we got this big uh, raised bed as well. And then we also have the big garden that I've always had, which is like a, I think it's like a, a 10 by 16. So it's, we got, I tilled it up the other day and then we covered it with a tarp. Uh, hey girls. Y'all giving me eggs. I got a dozen eggs today out of 10 chickens, but I didn't check it yesterday, so. So yeah, got some good dirt under this tarp and that will be ready to plant. We were gonna plant yesterday, but it poured down rain and stormed and it's been blowing like 30 miles an hour all day today, so. And we finally got this pretty much done. It's our back little patio. It's pretty much complete, we still gotta do some do a little bit of work but we're gonna get a a table and chairs and stuff to set out there and do all that jazz so uh, I think it turned out great for not that much effort the skid steer definitely helped out big time because if I had to move all that dirt by hand I'd still be digging but I'm gonna let this heat up I'll do a little time lapse when we get it going I gotta get the pressure washer out of the camper and uh, then we'll get moving. All right, so they've been boiling for, oh, good 15, 20 minutes. And I put a little bit of Dawn dish soap in there to get that grease out. And I accidentally just tied a double knot. Didn't mean to do that. So I'm gonna pull them out and uh, get the spray in. And then the next thing that comes is our 
lightning. Yeah, those tufts fell out. We'll have to dig those out of there. That's all right, we'll glue them back in. We'll probably end up pulling these. Just like that. That is insane. That's the biggest, one of the biggest Texas, Texas cutters I've ever seen. Got some teeth in there too, we need to pull out, save those. What I'm doing right now is popping these ears out. Don't be afraid, they're gonna, I mean, it sounds like bone breaking, and it is, but don't be afraid to do that. Pop those out, just like that. You can hear it rattling in there. But we got this guy pretty much cleaned up. The headshot really put a hole in his, in his skull, but you put it on this side and you won't be able to tell. So get that bottom jaw done and then we'll start our batch of peroxide. All right guys, so all we're using is 40 volume peroxide liquid. You can get it off of Amazon. I think we ordered eight or 10 gallons off of Amazon, but you wanna do 50% peroxide, 50% water. I may use three gallons of this and the rest water. Let's see where this gets us. I'd rather have a smaller, smaller uh, boiling pot. That's all I got. My, my good one has a hole in it. All right, guys. I pulled them out. I actually had a mule deer and a buck that I shot this year that I've already boiled and pressure washed. I just I'm gonna let them sit for a while, but this turned out great. I'm gonna wash it off and uh, we'll let her dry and then we'll start gluing teeth. All right guys, I brought everything inside. I got the teeth placed where they need to go, except for the big ones, obviously I know where they go, but all these pulled out. So I'm gonna go one by one and glue these in. I got some super glue. I'm just gonna, you don't have to put a lot, just enough to hold it in there if you can get the glue out. like that. Now I'm gonna find some more glue because I'm out for the big tusks. All right guys, I've given it time to dry. Let's see what it looks like. And it looks not so white in here just because of the lighting, but it is super, super white. There we go, just like that. It's a little off center because of that hole in the side of its face, but it turned out great. And we brought home some chicken livers. We'll see how that goes, but I just downed some enchiladas. So just put Ryder down and uh, the skull turned out great. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Y'all stay tuned. Got some more stuff coming. Be sure to go click that link in the description and send prayers to their family. And if you can, uh, give anything to the GoFundMe. But y'all go check that out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.